Welcome back to Great Create. I'm your host, Gabe Patillo. In each episode, we present two new creators and makers with a challenge inspired by our experienced mentors. What will these brilliant artists come up with? Which final presentation will be the favorite? You, the audience, get to decide. Welcome to Great Create. Songs have a way of capturing our lives and experiences that just can't be expressed any other way. Do you remember the first time that you heard a song and you were like, that song's about me? Well, that's what we're gonna have fun with today with our creative challenge. We invited two Nashville singer-songwriters to take the great Create Challenge. We'll see if they can impress Navy veteran and Brookdale resident Roland, along with you at home. Let's meet our songwriters. My name is AJ Gadio, and I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio, and I live in Nashville, Tennessee. To make a long story short, I got my heart broke when I was 18. Started writing songs that I didn't know how else to deal with the emotions of getting through a breakup and it just sort of snowballed from there. I did not really enjoy performing because it kind of gave me anxiety. It wasn't something I was used to. And then at some point, like within a year of being here, it was just something I couldn't get enough of. Artists that know how to paint a picture are things that like I've looked up to and like learned a lot from just as a listener that you would apply to the songs that you write now. Well, my name is Becca Bowen, and um, I started singing when I was five years old, and I started singing gospel in my church, and that led me to start uh, touring with a gospel group, believe it or not, at the age of five years old called the Crusaders. I walked on stage with my band, and the energy of the crowd, I just knew it right then. I was like, this is it. I want to do this for the rest of my life. I just love this. On the weekends, I would go fishing with my grandfather, and he would be playing, you know, Hank Williams and all these older uh, artists. So I love, I'm just going to say it, I love some 90s country, some Dolly Parton, oh my gosh, and Reba McIntyre. AJ and Becca, welcome to Great Create. Thank you. Hey, thanks for having us. Yes, thank you guys so much for being here. AJ, how you feeling right now? How confident are you feeling? I feel very confident. <laughs> I feel like I've spent 10 years writing for this moment. <laughs> there you go. And Becca, what about you? How confident are you feeling? I'm not gonna say I'm not nervous about it, but I'm pretty confident. <laughs> AJ, what's some of your strengths when it comes to songwriting? Are you more a storyteller? Are you a pop guy, write something that we have to sing for the rest of the day? I think I, I skew a little more melodically, but because uh, I, I, I like ear candy. <laughs> and Becca, country girl, pop girl, where, where you fall stylistically? Oh, I am down home country, classic country all the way. <laughs> well, we've got an amazing man for you guys to meet. Are you ready to meet our experienced mentor? I am. Yeah, let's do it. Here we go. Today's judge is Roland Jenkins. He's a resident at Brookdale Robinwood in Gastonia, North Carolina. Roland served in the Navy during World War II and was a member of the Ramblin' Rebels Bugle Corps. He has quite a story to tell, and we're glad to have him as a judge on this episode of Great Create. I'm from uh, Gastonia, North Carolina. Live on a farm because went into service. I had three sisters in the Navy, he joined ahead of me. And my brother joined the Army, and I told him I'm going in to join the rest of it. I come out of service, and a friend of mine belonged to Drum and Bugle Corps. He asked me if would I like to join it. And so I said, yeah, I believe I would. I carry the American flag. Roland. Thank you so much for being on Great Create with us. Thank you. Can you tell us about carrying the American flag? Was that something that gave you a lot of pride to be the tallest one and get to carry the flag? Yeah, I love it. But when the wind got up, now you had to get a hold of that flag. <laughs> yeah. I'm just glad to serve my country. I would lay my life down for it. anybody. Mm. We've met our two songwriters, and we've met our experienced mentor. Now, it's time for the challenge. Is everybody ready? Yes. Yeah, let's see it. Well, here we go. Write a song that captured the spirit 
of this hardworking American patriot. The Great Create Challenge has been revealed. Songwriters, are you ready? Yep. Yes. Well, we can't wait to see what you come up with. The challenge starts now. So we got a challenge today, and the challenge is to write a song about a man named Roland's life. And I love a good challenge, so my idea that I've been kind of brainstorming on is like this idea of like memories make a man. Like if you look back and you have all these fond memories, you've probably lived a full life. So I think the hook is gonna be something kind of like, a memory makes a man, or something like that. So we're gonna figure this song out, and I'm excited to do it. I am so excited about this challenge today. Um, this is so cool because I got Roland's story. It's really reminded me of my grandfather. So I have some really great ideas and I have this melody in my head. I just want to honor this man. I don't care about the competition. I want to honor this incredible man who is just sweet as apple pie. This is only the second song I've ever written about or for someone. Man, I don't want to let this guy down, you know? Roland grew up in Gastonia, North Carolina in a hardworking farming family. After the war, he traveled to, with the esteemed Gastonia Drum and Bugle Corp as a flag bearer and played snare. So if I need a drummer for the song, he's in. Came back, started beating my drum to my own beat in the land of the free. That seems really personal. That's a weird way to put it. For an 18-year-old son of Uncle Sam. That makes sense? Okay. Grew up on a farm in North Carolina. <laughs> hey, Michael. I got some good stuff over here. I think I got a good melody. Well, it sounds like I could hear you singing okay. when I was walking up. <laughs> could you hear me downstairs? This is what I came up with a little bit. You can just tell me if you like the melody or not, but. He grew up on a farm in North Carolina. You see where I'm going with this? Kind of just, yes. you know, just kind of giving a visual of his life and how he grew up. And then we can talk about, you know, him going to serve his country. All right, Roland. So they're going to be trying to take all of your memories, all the stories that you've told them, all that they've read about you, and put it into about a minute and a half. How challenging do you think that might be? A minute and a half? I don't know. <laughs> what do you think about AJ and Becca writing a song about you? I didn't think nobody ever write a song about me. All right, so Becca's brought in a co-writer. Let's see how AJ's doing. So, I'm struggling on line three right now. So I'm gonna go take my mind off it real quick. So just like thinking about Roland's story, it's like, kind of reminds me of my grandpa a little bit, because he went to the war. They all made that sacrifice for us so that we can live and have our freedoms the way that we have them today. So finding a way to incorporate that into a song about Roland's life, that's a pretty crucial part of his story and very, you know, speaks to his character and like who he is as a man. I want something that kind of is, is memorable. It gets stuck in your head. I need this great hook line. You won't be able to go to bed without hearing it in your head. <laughs> you know, one of those songs. That's what I want. Great American soldier. it was talking about him being a patriot. What if we call the song Great American Soldier? Oh, well, yeah, that's awesome, Michael. Like, that's awesome. This is, this is starting to put me in the feels, man. <laughs> Good, then that means that people that are listening to this song yeah. hopefully will be feeling it, too. I hope so. I hope, I hope he really likes it. I really do. I would, I would just like it to be kind of like memory and thought-provoking for him while he hears it, just be like, yeah. That takes me back. That makes me go back to that place where I was. It makes me feel like I did when I was on that plane going overseas. That would be a very good, good thing. All right, well, I think we got it to a good spot. 
where we can take it over to the studio and start fine tuning it and recording a real band version of it. On the way to record right now, so I'm excited today. How are you? You ready to do this? Ready to do it. Good to see you. I'm ready to work. Just give you we a, got a, a one-man band right here. Nice. That was nice. I like that. So I voice memoed the song. I played it into my phone. I sent it to Dan. It took us about a half an hour to drive to the studio. And in that half hour, we have got a basic drum track that we're going to play the guitar to. Throw a little bass, a little guitar, and then we'll have a full song. Give me another pass of that. It's just kind of cleaner with the... Yeah. Yeah. All it took was a long flight from Gastonia to Japan. A lot of songs with, you know, the chorus, you kind of want to make it intentionally vague, but still specific at the same time. Life is a long road, but it can still feel short. Like, if you're 50, you can still relate to that. You don't have to be 93. And there you what? have it. Yeah. Nice, dude. Good work, boys. That sounds awesome. <laughs> the most difficult part about it was getting that great hook line in there, something that gets stuck in your head and is memorable. So let's just punch in on the chorus. Okay, he was again. a down yeah. home oh. boy. He was a down home boy. He was a down home boy. Awesome. All right. Sounding good! <laughs> so excited. All right, the songs are written. They are in. AJ, what are you hoping that Roland feels when he hears this song? He's lived a very full life, and I just hope that it kind of like, you know, takes him on a three minute ride that lasts about 90 years. And Becca, what about you? What are you hoping Roland feels when he hears your song? I just want it to kind of just take him back to those days, to bring back those memories. And he just needs to go back to those memories and know that he is an honorable and just wonderful person. Then AJ, you kind of came at it from the memory standpoint. What was it about Roland that stood out to you? It's such a long, incredible journey of just like things that I've only heard through textbooks. And like, he's a walking, talking, living, breathing example of someone that went through that, saw that, participated in it. Yeah. I think that's kind of like what stood out the most. All right, so you guys have been in the studio. The creative part is done. Are you guys ready to present your final songs? I am ready, let's go. Yeah, let's go, let's listen to them. Here we go. was a long flight from Gastonia to Japan For an 18 year old son of Uncle Sam to become a man Came back, started beating my drum to my own beat In the land of the free Started building a family branch by branch Next thing you know you got a tree Yeah, long road can be a short ride We make the most of it Till we reach the other side We all have one life To live the most that we can Amongst other things It's the memories that make a man Great American. 
it rolling. We've got two incredible songs. We're going to start with AJ's song. It's the memories that make a man, is what he says in that song. Yeah, I like that. I can't explain it. I just feel good about it. That's great. All right, Roland, now we're going over to Becca's song, Great American Soldier. I really like it. I'm glad to serve my country. I'd join up again right now. <laughs> <laughs> and we appreciate that heart for this country. That's amazing. All right, Mr. Roland. You've gotten to hear both songs about your life from Becca and from AJ, and it is time for you to choose your favorite. My favorite song is Becca's. It gives me something to leave for my grandchildren. I'm just proud of it, and I want to thank you very much. All right, Becca. Thank you, Roland. I'm glad that you like that song. I'm honored to write that song for you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, audience at home, now it's your turn. Which one was your favorite? Once the votes are tallied, the people's choice from each episode will be revealed at our season finale. Your favorites will receive a donation to the charity of their choosing. So let's go, everyone. We want to thank AJ and Becca for their creativity and for being with us. A special thank you to Roland for inspiring us with his love of family and country. We've got great creators and challenges coming up on our show. Be sure to check out our additional challenges so you don't miss out on any of these amazing creations and the stories that inspire them. All here on Great Create.